what is going on you guys i hope you all are having a great day it's been a while since you guys have seen the tesla so what are we out doing today lex we are going to go look at a trailer we're going to look at a trailer we have to stop at ace hardware right now because i only have a two inch ball and we need a one and seven eighths so alexis made the call they had them in stock they had a couple different shank lengths so we're lucky that they're open yeah and I that we're out of the house <laughs> i didn't really want to leave the house but this trailer is a good deal and we needed to make something happen so i could bring you guys some riding content so i'm doing this for you guys if we get the coronavirus i'm blaming it on all of you subscribers oh, out there God. No, i'm just kidding so we're gonna go pick up the ball and is that all where we have to go yeah we're picking up the ball and we are headed south the dude was actually willing to meet not halfway but kind of in the middle so that was nice and hopefully everything works out does not come with the title but we're going to be writing a bill of sale and hopefully that's all i need to get the trailer title because in the state of ohio you do have to have a title for um, okay. trailers of any size any weight doesn't matter they want you to have a title so you can get it plated we'll see what happens you know we're getting a little risky here but it's a good deal especially because the bmvs aren't open exactly so we might have to wait a little bit for a title yep all right we'll see you guys here in a second Did you ask about hand sanitizer? Yep. Oh, you did? Nope, on the hand sanitizer, Alexis. But we got the goods, guys. We got the one and seven eighths chrome hitch ball. This thing was $13, man. If somebody has one, oh, 15 with tax. If somebody has one that they want to give, <laughs> hit me up and I'm returning this damn thing. We also have the buddy. He's coming out of the house for a little bit. <laughs> Take a left and we are almost there. Guys, it is time. We are getting the trailer for the Tesla. Let's hope it works out. Let's hope I got the right ball and let's hope that I can get a title for this thing. And let's hope that we do not get the coronavirus and let's hope that we do not get pillaged while we're here by the locals. Oh my God. I see civilization. Yep, there's definitely gonna be a Walmart here soon. Three minutes away. Oh, actually, we can kind of see it from here. All right. Um, Stay in the right lane. I don't see him yet. I got the PDPs, though. My bowels are knocking on heaven's door. Arrive at Walmart Again. Arrived. Do they say they were there? Uh, no. I just said 411, so. Yeah, but it's right there. It's coming in on the old oh F-150. Oh, my gosh. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that ball on before they say anything, cause we are a little early. Country boy, green. They're probably gonna see you if you're putting this on. Maybe they'll come over here. All right, we got the old trusty Leatherman. Right. Maybe we'll just use this. There we go. That wasn't that bad. You might actually be able to take that back still. Oh, you're right. I didn't, even think, I didn't even think about that. I wasn't being conscious of that. Man, we got 18 inch long thread on this. Well, I don't see anybody being pillaged. This Walmart looks pretty dead, actually. Yeah. We got some country girls over here having a meet up. I drive your old daddy's truck. All right. Is he coming over here? No. All right. I got my pipe wrench. I'm going to mess somebody up. Hurry up, it's 410. What are they doing, Diesel? What are they doing? Did we get a trailer? Do you have um change for two fifty? Like do you have like a ten or something? Oh yeah. I got twenty, 30, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, then I just need a 10. There we go. All right, guys, so we got them down to 250 bucks. I'm happy with that because it definitely needs tires. They're dry rotted. I want to see how much turning radius we have with that uh, extension on there before I get crazy. Do a little test here. 
I can't even do it. It won't touch? Uh-uh. Good. All right. Well, that just answered my question. Put my seatbelt on so it doesn't yell at me and hope these tires make it home. But we got a spare, and I think I have a tire iron somewhere in here. Did you put the gate down? I just did, for... for aerodynamics. Okay. It won't fly up. If it does, it's not going to go anywhere because the pins are locked. Okay, good, 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 good. And guys, I cannot even feel that thing back there, so I'm happy. That was the perfect size. A little bit more rust than I was hoping, but we can doctor that up, spend a day grinding it down and putting some rust reformer on there and painting it. So either way, I mean, one of these new is like 600 bucks plus the work that he did to it. Like I'm going to be able to fit a full size Harley on there if I ever need to. And that was a win-win. Like I wasn't expecting that. So I'm happy. And uh, once we get some weight on there, it'll stop rattling. So I, I'm happy with it for 250. I can't complain. They had it listed for how much? They had it listed for $500. So, so we got it for half price and they're literally the same one without the modification. Somebody was trying to sell for $550, like firm. And uh, I wasn't having that. So let's get this thing home and I'll show you guys what we got. Was that this morning or the day before that we woke up to all everybody's house being flooded and stuff? Uh, it was yesterday morning. Yeah, yesterday morning. Like what side of Columbus? Like east of Columbus? I guess a bunch of people's houses were flooding and... There was a sinkhole that happened. Yeah, I saw that. The road completely collapsed. Oh my god, we don't have a trailer behind us, dude. I'm yes, we... <laughs> you are such an ass. God. But I was being quiet when I'm hitting the bumps, you I got worried. You scared me. I fully expect one of these tires to blow on the way home, but... You know. But it'll be alright. Yep. All right, guys, can you get a shot of that on the dash? We should be able to see that. 44.2 miles per gallon towing the trailer, baby. You know what that means? What? A happy tanner. A happy tanner. Yeah, that worked out. This is the perfect size trailer. I'm stoked. I can't wait to show you guys. I'm probably gonna have to spend a good day just cleaning everything up, but you know what? It was a good deal. 250 bucks, I can't complain. We'll see how much uh, our mileage changes on the way home. He's out there on that new bike, looking a little shaky. I've never seen a GS that small, that's pretty sweet. That is nice. If he's like a first time rider, he's gonna be like, oh my god. I don't know. I doubt he's a first time rider with the stickers and crap on his helmet. That bike is legit. I'm it really is. intrigued on that. I would do it. Yeah, I have never seen a GS that small. I'm not a big BMW guy, but that thing is sweet. 36 degrees. You guys, nipples are hard. The next day. Well, you guys, here it is. This is the new trailer for the Tesla rig. I'm happy with it. It's a 4x6 utility trailer from Lowe's, actually, that somebody custom made this notch for a front motorcycle tire. And they actually were hauling a Heritage Softail Harley Davidson with this thing. So we're not going to be hauling anything that big. This was the perfect thing for the job. It came with the spare tire mount. We had a fresh spare tire on there. Unfortunately, these tires are dry rotted, but you know what? We can make do with that. But yeah, I don't know what that diamond plate, I'm just assuming they wanted that for the uh, extra rigidity for that tire. I don't think there's anything wrong with the mesh underneath, but even if there is, we can always replace it. There's a little bit of rust here and there, and um, we can clean that up pretty easy. I'm not worried about that, especially for the price, man. I'm really happy, and um, we towed it. Had it up to like 70 miles per hour. When it was empty, it was kind of bouncing around because there was nothing in it. But today we're going to load it up with the 250 and the 230 and head to the trail. So we'll see how this thing performs. We'll see what kind of mileage we get. We were getting like 40, we're getting around 40 yesterday. So I'm happy with that. I'd imagine like 36, 38, which is still amazing, dude. Try pulling a trailer with a truck. You're going to be getting like 10 miles per gallon. So. Oh, dude, I got a 2019 Silverado. I need to shut down four cylinders, man. I get like 20 miles per gallon, dude. Whatever. I, I don't want to hear any of that. Don't have lights as of now, but we have reflectors, and you can still see the taillights on the Prius. And it shouldn't be dark. So. And, yeah, it's daylight, so if you hit the trailer, you're, it's your own fault. <laughs> um, it is bent. I can see the Harley. It was a little bit too much weight for this, but I want to take this off anyways. 
unfortunately i am going to have to grind it off because it is not meant to be taken off i don't know if it's going to fit your bike's going to fit straight in so it would fit without the gate but now that we can't take the gate off i don't know what we're going to do i don't really want to take the time to grind those pins off so let's go get the 230 right now and give her a try she's still running i don't think so ah oh. Can't give it gas. <laughs> <laughs> no problem with the gate off, so what do you think? We just grind it off really quick? Unless you'll think you'll be able to fit them both at an angle. I don't think so though. But yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting. I'm happy with it because I don't want to run the gate anyways because it has all that drag. And uh, I guess we'll just have to grind these welds off. Because they're welded on the outside. I don't know why they do that. That's the same reason my dad cut it off of his trailer. What's up, DJ? Hello again. <laughs> Can you weld me some custom mounts, please? Yeah, I guess we'll just take the grinder really quick and knock those off, because I don't want to have to deal with loading it some weird way. This is fine, though. I mean, the tire is literally like almost eight inches onto the trailer, and it just hangs off the back, but. Do I think the 250 is any longer? Not by much. And it ain't gonna be over eight inches no, longer, so no. they'll both fit just fine, and that makes me happy, so. I'm gonna grab a grinder and we'll get that zipped off of there. I knew that would happen. That's why you don't cheap out on your wheels. All right, take two. Masonry blade. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Frickin' coal miner. Dude, there's barely any weld left. Hey, we already have that one off. Can't we just slide this off? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> At least that'll be easy to weld. That was stupid. Donkey of the Day Award. <laughs> All right. 
Well, you guys, that's going to do it for today's video. You're going to have to wait for the maiden voyage of the Tesla. It was a 200-mile round trip. Drop it down in the comments below what MPGs you think I'm going to get, and look forward to the first Moto Adventure. Stay tuned.